Hello, and thank you for purchasing the Lava HD 8008 Omni Pro series. In this video, we will show you how fast and easy it is to assemble that Lava Omni Pro HD 8008 you had just purchased. So let's get started. On opening the box, you'll find a set of instructions. Under you'll also find a packing list. Make sure that your box has all the parts in it. For the 8008, you want to have a main unit, which is the actual main unit, the antenna itself. Two V frequency wings. Your mounting bracket and also a waterproof kit. A 12 volt power adapter. Last but not least, power inserter. Once you have confirmed that all the parts are in the box, you're ready to go ahead and begin the assembly process. On the bottom of the antenna, you'll see that there are two panels with two Phillips screws. Using the Phillips screwdriver, remove the Phillips screws on both sides. Set the screws aside. and remove the two panels covering the nuts that are gonna hold the V frequency wings in place. Now you might have to use a little bit light, some light force, but don't be afraid, you're not gonna break the antenna. Go ahead and put your fingers on the side of the antenna where the grooves are at, and pulling in the upward motion, pop the panels right off. Once the panels are removed, you'll notice that each side has four nuts. Ensure that four nuts are there. Go ahead and remove the nuts and set them aside. Now, take the V frequency wings out of their packaging And you'll notice that on the wings, there's a little curved edge on both of them. When you're assembling them, you wanna make sure that the curve is going on the bottom side of the antenna, as so. Go ahead and install the V frequency wings on the antenna using the four nuts. Make sure that you just hand tighten these as snug as you can. We don't recommend using any tools for this. Once you have the nuts secured in snug fashion, we'll go ahead and reinstall the panels back onto the main unit the panels will just pop right back into place. And it actually doesn't matter if you do swap them. They're both compatible on each side fit. Once you snap them back into place, go ahead and reinstall the screws. Make sure that you do tighten them well prevent the wings from falling off during windstorms or anything like that. Once the wings are assembled and the panels are back on, the antenna should look like this. Once your antenna is, the wings are assembled on the antenna and you have your panels on your antenna back on, it's time to mount the antenna. Now, you can utilize or you can use a J-pole, lava J-pole, to install the antenna, or you can go out to your hardware store and buy a three quarter inch to an inch pipe in diameter. To install the antenna, you wanna slide the U-bolt into the mounting bracket as shown. 
Then you're gonna get the other part of the bracket. Go ahead and just slide it in there. And using the the wing nuts, you can go ahead and just screw them on there slightly. Don't tighten them up because you will need to adjust adjust them. Once you have your U bracket on the mounting bracket, you can go ahead and slide it over the actual pole. What you want to do is you slide the U bolt over the pole, and then once it's on there, you're going to go ahead and fasten it to the pole by tightening up the wing nut. Just like that, tighten it as tight as possible. You want to secure the antenna make sure so it doesn't fall off during the windstorm. Once the antenna is installed, it should look like this. Fasten secure, ensure that it doesn't move. And now you're ready to proceed with the connections. Now what you want to do once the antenna is mounted to the pole is you're going to get your RG6 cable. Make sure that it is an RG6 cable. Also with the antenna you had a waterproof kit. Now in order for you to install this you need to cut the bottom end of it using some scissors and maybe a slit on the side so you can go ahead and using the going through the wider part of the waterproof kit, you're gonna slide it over into the coax cable and run it up the coax cable as shown till it comes up next to the coax connector. Remember, hand tighten only. The bottom of the antenna, your coax connection is present. You'll go ahead and install the coax connect, the coax cable, securing it with a nice snug fit And we don't recommend using pliers for this or any other kind of tool. Hand tighten is all that's required. Once the quacks is secure, slide your weatherproof kit up to the bottom of the quacks connector. And you'll notice that there's a lip. This just overlaps that. That's just to give the Quax cable extra line of protection against wetter, wet, wet weather. Now you're going to run your coax cable and remember, make sure that there are no splitters or F2F couplers in between the coax cable, or actually the antenna, and your power insert. Run a direct line from the antenna to the power inserter. You'll notice that the power inserter, which is an amp for your antenna, has a little silver label on it that says connected TV. Make sure that that end, the pigtail end, is what goes into the back of your coax connector on your television set. And on the other end, your coax cable coming from the antenna is gonna go right into that. like that nice tight fit so again we don't recommend using any tools to tighten it and the other end will go into the back of the television to the coax connection once you have the pigtail end connected to the back of the television you can go ahead get your 12 volt adapter Plug it into the wall. 
make sure that it's a functioning outlet. Once you plug it in, you'll see a red LED light come on on the power insert. It's very important that you confirm that the LED light is illuminated because without that LED light being present, there won't be no amplification going to the antenna, which will probably give you poor reception. So just remember that the LED light must be on at all times while the power insert is connected to the outlet. Once you have completed the auto scan on your television set, you, you can flip through your channels and start receiving HD channels immediately. Now, customers always ask us, how do we connect more than one TV to this antenna? Simple. All you gotta do is purchase the Lava HD four-way splitter. And as long as you have the coax cable coming from the antenna into the antenna input, and the cable coming out of port one to the power insert, you should be able to utilize the splitter and connect the pre-existing coax cables that run to your other televisions. Okay, so this concludes the tutorial video for the installation of the 8008. If you happen to purchase the Omni 8000, everything exact is exactly the same when it comes to the connections. Um, it's actually easier to install the 8000. You won't need to assemble anything just the mounting brackets, and just follow the same instructions that you did for the 8008 and you should be ready to go. Once again, thank you for purchasing the Lava product. I hope you enjoy your antenna. It gives you a lot of hours of free HD TV.